I did a thing this past week. So for the last three years that we've been here, I've been asking PJ if we could turn our dining room into the living room and then use our den as our dining room, which is the original dining room to this house. He's always been pretty against it. He loves our huge black dining room table, which I do too. But this past week, whenever he was working at the cottage and the I put the kiddos down for their nap, I took it upon myself to switch everything around. So I made our dining room, our new living room. I put our dining room table in our previous living room. That is now the office. And it's also where our oldest kiddo is gonna be doing virtual kindergarten. So it's separate from the kitchen and the living room. I love the way it feels. PJ does too, we were just talking about it. I feel like it was a much needed change that we've needed the last couple of months. We're home all the time. You know, we've been taking social distancing really seriously. And I think that whenever you get into a routine of doing the same thing every day, you need that change and you need something, something needs to, to change and to be different in order for you to stay sane. So that's kind of what this whole thing represents. And so far we all love it. The kiddos screamed when they saw it. They love it. So after three years, finally got my way. PJ, if you're watching this, thank you. I love you. I'm glad that you embraced the change. It is over. Yeah. I'm ready for that. I smell my hair. Mm -hmm. I smell my hair. Okay. Mm -hmm. Smell my armpit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> what? Ray, smell my Ray, nose. Smell back. your nose. Mmm, you smell good. Ray, Ray. Ray, Ray. All right, so we came over to the cottage because tomorrow they're installing hardwood floors. That's oh, not no. true. That's okay. not true. Let me start over. We came to the cottage to empty it all out and to get everything off the floor because tomorrow they are bringing hardwood floor, delivering the hardwood floor. So we have to get everything off the floor and so they're gonna start installing this week. So tomorrow they are bringing the hardwood floor over so that it can acclimate to the temperature inside the house with the humidity that's currently in the house. It has to do that for 24 hours at least. So they're gonna deliver it tomorrow and then begin installing Thursday morning. Yeah. There you go, I don't even know why I try. I should, I should just stop. So PJ got over here first and he ripped up all of the baseboards in the cottage. So he's gonna put down new ones after the hardwood floors are installed. And then after this week, there's gonna be no more painted plywood floors. It's gonna be beautiful. Okay, so give us an update or like give us the timeline of the hardwood floors. What's the whole situation with that? Okay, so as you can see, the cottage is officially empty except for the bathrooms. They've turned into storage for now. We basically have to get everything off of the floor that the hardwood is going down. Tomorrow they're delivering the unfinished hardwood floor and it has to acclimate to the temperature and humidity in the house. It'll sit maybe a day or two and then they'll start installing it and then we're going to have it finished. We are actually doing something different this time. The uh, hardwood floor guy said that he had a lot of remnant boxes of unfinished red oak and unfinished white oak. Originally we were just going to do white oak, but he gave us an amazing deal on it. 
which is gonna save us about $2,000 overall. And so we're gonna try something new and do two different types of oak flooring. And then hopefully it turns out. It'll have somewhat of a rustic appeal because of the variation of the wood color. But this whole house kind of has, I mean, it's got like beadboard and shiplap and a rustic theme. So I think it'll make sense to do it. So we'll see. Plus it's saving $2,000, which is nice. And now that Thomas's mom is considering the house, we're trying to keep it as low budget as possible. So we'll see how that turns out. Okay, so we just got over to the cottage. We stopped by real quick. It's like 8.30 at night, but we stopped by because the hardwood floors just got laid. I'm hesitant to pan down and show you because I kind of want to be a surprise. Yeah. Um, well, actually, you can kind of see in the background anyways, but um, explain so what we, they are. We did a combination of red oak and white oak, and the reason why we did that was because we got a really awesome deal on it because it was remnants from other jobs and so the hardwood floor guy said he thought that it would look good and it actually looks really good so i'm glad that we did it yeah they look old they don't look like they were just laid so they have a lot of character can't wait to see whenever we get the stain on it's gonna look so good this place is coming together i love it Have to get up for school now," said Rumpus. "What shall we do?" But the other guys are going to be scared. They probably are. Well, let's see what happens. Imagine the fright the monster oh. mom got when she saw Jamie. I was right. You're right. Diving under the kitchen table and upsetting the breakfast things. Help! It's only my friend Jamie," okay. said Rumpus. "He popped out of my dream and wants to come to school with me." Why does it smell like poop up here? It's the wood. Oh. Wow. Ew! Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Ew! 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 Well, is that real though? Like, did... so it's not official, official, but I, he's holding it for me. Oh my gosh. Okay. How? But I, if we, if we decide to go finance, the finance route, we're approved to buy it finance wise. If we wanted to do finance, I don't know that we're going to do that, but whatever. Yeah. Right. Oh my gosh. That's so exciting. So. And then I'm on, and then I'm going to say, you think my character's sexy? Goodness. Finding the right deal puts PJ in the best mood. For context though, PJ for the last like week, if you follow us on Twitter, you already know this, has last, already been looking at tractors, what? Uh, the last two years I've been looking at tractors. Well, yes, but, but you got super serious, serious about it, like 24 seven, day and night, right before bed, as soon as you wake up in the morning. I was leaning towards John Deere. I was gonna get a John Deere. When I did like, searches and when they ranked most popular tractors or best rated tractors, Kubota was always like, multiple tractors were in the top 10 lineup and John Deere only had like one or two in the top 10, whereas Kubota had like seven, eight, nine, seven, mm -hmm. eight. And then in the top 50, Kubota always had more. So everything else that I also read said that John Deere and Kubota are basically very comparable, but after reading, I did. Kubota. Love it. So exciting. So we're finally going to have a tractor well, potentially on our land so that we can, we don't have to hire it out every time we want to cut the grass. It's exciting. Here. All right, let's go. I think this is the long way, but like T-Rexes, they're out there. So one of these 
careful. You're right about that. So we came out to the land today on what is quite possibly the worst day to ever come out to the land because it is 100 degrees. It's so hot and humid and muggy, yeah. but we needed to get out of the house and the kids needed to get out of the house. So PJ's mowing the land today and we are on the hunt for some dinosaur bones. Yep, so that's dino. that. <sighs> That's the biggest dino tooth I've ever seen. I don't need that one anymore. Yeah. Because this one's too short. You see any figs? I see this little one, but we Let's can't see. pick it. Um, yeah, it's not ready yet, probably. Yeah, it is, but it's purple. Oh. Yeah, but it's tiny. Mm-hmm. PJ is always so good at finding these figs. for you guys. Me, thing. not so much. Okay. Hey guys. Oh, it's been a hectic day. Uh huh. But the good thing about being a hectic day is things are getting completed. We have building materials that are getting delivered today. We have to go pick up doors for the cottage. We are looking at tractors, something I never thought I'd be in the market for. Mm -hmm. Thomas is brushing his teeth. We have doctor's appointments. We're meeting yeah. the BAC guy. Anyways, I'm I'm, 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 I'm I'm taking the oldest kiddo to um, his well child visit. PJ is racing out the door to meet who? HVAC? me HVAC, hence why I'm brushing my teeth in the kitchen sink. So it's Friday morning. It's one of those busy Friday mornings where we're running around. PJ, you have to put the car seats in the car. Okay. Yeah, anyways, that's all. Are you excited for your well child visit? Yeah. Are you, and do you know what it is? What is it? It's your, so because you're five and you're in kindergarten, you have to go and get a, well child visit for your school. Why? I don't know, that's just what kindergartners have to do. Even though you're doing virtual kindergarten, you still have to do what they said. So that's where we're going this morning, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We just got to my mom's house, or what do we call her, sweetie? Sit do we just got to sit to's house. She's gonna watch older brother for me while I have to run to the store and get a couple things. Yeah, I get batteries for we, my T-Rex. There you go. Batteries for the T-Rex, among other things. We have eased up a little bit on our social distancing with the kiddos and we've allowed them to see their aunt and for my mom to watch them only whenever we really, really need her to. And um, PJ has the other two with him at the cottage and I need to run to the store and we don't bring the kiddos to the store just yet. So my mom is going to thankfully watch. Cause why? Cause everyone. That's right. Cause people are getting sick and we, and we don't want to get sick, right? Because I don't want to change myself. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know. What are you talking hold about? Hold on, hold on. Anyways, that's the plan for right now. Again, busy, busy day. So we just did something completely unplanned and completely out of character for us too. We saw it, we like it, we want it, we got it. This is our new TV console. It's upside down right now, so it looks kind of funny, but this is gonna go in our living room. We just picked up the last two doors for the cottage. They have not had them in stock for like a month and a half to two months. They finally had them in stock, so we bought those. I am wrapping up all of the things that I'm going to be doing at the cottage. Today I finished, for the most part, all of the trim. I'm gonna do the doors today, and then we'll be ready for hiring out the rest of the stuff. So that's gonna be the paint, the having the hardwood floors refinished, having all of the electrical 
like lights and appliances wired in, plumbing will be finished, like the vanity is getting installed, toilets, all of that's next week. So, so close to being finished on the cottage, which is awesome. Cannot but wait. We are about to start the next house, which we have already bought and we've had it for about a year and a half now. Yeah, it's a whole other project. We also bought a piece of furniture we weren't planning on buying just now. We did. PJ went in to get the doors and he texted me a photo and was like, do we like this? Actually, he sent me three photos of three different pieces and we ended up picking one of them that we both love. However, now we might have to get a new rug. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited. We switched some things around at home. So this is going in our new living room. We just thought of something. What about the rug upstairs in the playroom? I know, I've been thinking about that too. It's like it's warm, a lot more subtle. Yeah, it's a pretty color. I think that's it. We don't have to buy a rug yet. It's yeah. money. Good news is we have so many rugs that we've collected over the years that we get for really cheap at estate sales and a couple off eBay. That's the way to go if you're looking for nice antique rugs. And so we like to switch them out in our rooms to see which ones actually fit and which ones we like the most. That's what we're gonna do. Let's do that as soon as we get home. Hasta. So we bought the doors and we are going to bring them in. But so one door goes here and one door closes off the laundry room. Cute. That little piece of oh, yeah. there. And all of the baseboard trim. So this will all be painted white, as you can see, it looks kind of rough right now, but. And then I framed in three boxes for a ceiling fan. We'll go up here in the center and then I'll finish out the wood and then a pendant light and a pendant light. I don't think it can, we were gonna do pans, but I don't think it's deep enough. Sad. I don't know what to see. We could do a, something like this light. And it puts up a lot of light. I don't love that, but we'll see. I don't know. This room is so cute. I, I feel like a broken record because I say it's my favorite every time, but the um, baseboards look good. Oh yeah, the shoe mold up there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and it's a good workout. Did you know that? It's good. What is PE? Remember what PE is? You learned about it in school? No. Oh my gosh. Friday. What's tomorrow? So what was your favorite, favorite part about today? So today you woke up. You ate breakfast, you did learning, you went to the doctor, you went to Situ's house, you got a cookie. You got a cookie. Um, you went to Chattanooga. You came home, you watched a movie. So what was your favorite part? Going to Chattanooga. Going to Chattanooga? What? Going mm -hmm. to Situ's? What'd you do at Situ's house? Um, I ate a snack. You ate a snack? And I played Sexy. Aww. And
Mark says. Saturday morning, we're up early-ish, and PJ's running off to do what now? I am meeting the painter, and then I'm gonna go get the last bit of trim that I need to finish out the baseboards and trim for the cottage. And then, there's more. At some point today, we may go look at a tractor and we may go look at a new door for the next house that we're going to be working on. We haven't, we haven't said what's going to happen with the cottage. No, not yet. Do we want to share that or wait? We'll, we'll wait for a second. Yeah, we have decided what's going to happen with the cottage. It's really fun and yeah, it'd be neat. Yeah, I'm excited. So we're waiting. Yeah, stop. Alistair's eye is like watering. Yeah, I noticed that yesterday. I just scratched it. Yay, good job guys. Taking a quick lunch break slash coffee break slash cookies and ice cream break. PJ has been at the cottage um, all morning. And then me and older brother have some <clears throat> virtual kindergarten to catch up on today, even though it is Saturday. How are you feeling about the cottage? I finally feel really good about where we are on the cottage. Mm -hmm. The Everything that I'm going to be doing to it is almost finished. So that's nice. We're going to be hiring out the paint, hiring out the floors. I have like one or two things that I'll have to do after today, but for the most part. Normally I would paint the whole thing on the inside. There's not, it's not very big, but that would probably take me a couple of weeks. And um, just we just want to, yeah, we just want to get it sold. So we are hiring that out. So that's exciting. But PJ was just telling me yesterday, what were you saying about how you finally feel like things are coming together? I think when the pandemic first hit back in March, we had a lot of stuff going on. We had the land that we were dealing with. We had two properties that we were trying to start renovating. And so it just felt overwhelming to be in the middle of two renovations and having to maintain multiple properties. And the kids, and the kids. were all sent home. So it's like, we had all three kids at home, schools are closed. Yeah, so it's been a stressful few months. However, things honestly feel so good right now. We have a plan. I've already started like getting prepared to start the next renovation on the, the house that we're gonna get started on. This one hopefully, fingers crossed, won't take that long because yeah. we're gonna try to keep it minimal as far as what we're gonna do to it. We have changed some of the, the layout from the original layout that we were gonna do just to make things a little bit more simple for us. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited. We'll, I'll probably get started on demo for that house next week. That'll be fun. Mm -hmm. I know, I think it's, it's exciting because we spent the first, almost all of this uh, quarantine time during the pandemic really down. The first like half of it was really hard for us, especially for PJ and you can, like we've mentioned before, you can like go back and watch our videos and you can see how it affected us. And we were just like in a really negative space, I think mm -hmm. for a long time and we really focused on that. But as time went on and this kind of became what our normal life looked like, I think that, I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong in trying to seek out the light and the goodness whenever you can because we were in that darkness for 
many months and we focused on it and we wallowed in it. And so now we're just, one of the kiddos is awake upstairs. So anyways, focus on the positive if you can. It's a hard and sad time for so many people. So if you can find that positive in your in your life, focus on that and don't let it go. All right, I'm gonna stop preaching. I need to go get them up. Come on, babe. Thank you. That is his lap. That is not a potty. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow! <laughs> tied. He tied. God, that was close. I almost beat him that time. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you. Yeah. Ready. Yeah. Go. Yeah.